Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Lejum here. I'm now back here with another video. Now, as you guys see in today's video, we have a lot to talk about today. Now, we have some information on the Red Room Takeover Part 2. We also have some new information on the new system that is coming into the game, which is called the Champion System. And we also have some information on the consumables that are coming into this game as well. So, before we get to the video, before we begin to discuss everything, if you guys are not, it means you guys subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so as a video and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, it means you guys hit that like button. Now, but I forgot to do let's get into the video Alrighty, I want to give a quick shout out to Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix for inviting me and a couple other content creators to this meeting. Now, in this meeting, we'll learn more information when it comes to the Red Room Takeover Part 2, the Champion System, and also consumables which are being implemented into the game. Now, first thing we're going to get into is the Red Room Takeover Part 2. Now, this is single player. Bruh. I know, it's single player, I know. Now, the reason they stated that it is single player is because for the overall experience, it's going to be better when you're playing single player. And also for the narrative for it, it's going to make sense because Yelena's behind all this when it comes to the harm room she hacked it and basically she's trying to learn more information when it comes to the Avengers and just learn about how they fight and their skills and everything so it makes sense you know story wise but hopefully in the future if this event eventually does come back hopefully they can add multiplayer in it so players can play with their friends basically experience the harm the, uh, the red room harm room for themselves for you know playing with their uh, friends and just probably matchmaking as well to see how that eventually goes but hopefully we can get that in the future but also there's another thing when it comes to the red room takeover as well for part two there are five different harm room layouts that are available for this and which is pretty dope now we was able to see two of them now there's one i could go into detail about a lot because we saw somewhat more of it now it is basically you're in the middle of the whole entire harm room now it's completely different it's like a really a whole different layout when it comes to it honestly i guess really say it's different so you know trust me on that one now you're basically in the middle and it's like small square and basically you have to just survive is if you get knocked down you basically fall into this techno lava which will instantly kill you and you, uh but the thing is you can't knock you can knock enemies down as well into this techno lava to instantly kill them so basically you have to be so aware of your surroundings when it comes to it and another thing for the flyers the flyers the flyers you're not safe as well now of course as you guys know with flying is basically you get more of an advantage but they stated that once you get hit if you if you played the game you know how it goes if you get hit by a heavier attack while you're flying you're going to be knocked down so if you're flying around you get hit with a heavier attack you're going to be knocked down and fall into the techno lava then you would just basically instantly die so basically if you're a flyer you have to be aware of your surroundings and especially if you're on the ground you got to be aware of your surroundings as well so i like that I, li I like that in fact you got to be you have to be uh you know aware of your surroundings and just be cautious of what is coming to you so that's and what we know about information wise now for the rewards that are coming with this we have a new animated team nameplay that is coming as well we also have gear that's come along with this and also new comics now this is the first event that they're doing which is introducing new comics now this is all event only so the animated team nameplate the gear and the new comics are all coming from this event only so if you want if you're a completionist if you guys want to get that out the way just make sure you have everything collected uh make sure you get this because the event does end on may 31st but honestly that's everything when it comes to the red room takeover part two information that was discussed that we all know about right now now the next thing we're gonna get onto is basically the champion system you know basically the consumables that are being added to the game since i know a lot of people were wondering what these consumables are so we're gonna get onto that real quick and let's get into it all righty y'all so we're about to get onto the new system that is coming into avengers aka the champion system now it is what i thought it was to be honest it's like a stat increase so if i can have an example i will have it on the screen for you guys to basically see exactly what i'm talking about but they, if they do have an official screenshot out for it then i will have it on the screen as well to basically just show you what it looks like as well so basically it is a stat increase there's four different sections that come with this there's one for combat tactical utility and defense now and they have roles for this if i remember correctly it's four now for combat for example there's one to increase your critical damage and there's one to increase your melee damage and there's another one i remember in defense 
defense, which increases your, res uh, your resolve, which basically increases your health. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how this really goes, to be honest. Now, as you guys know, to start the champion system, you have to be level 50 already. And once you level up uh, with the champion system, you unlock one champion coin to level up into either, either section that you wanna go into, either be champion, I mean not champ, Bruh. I say champion, combat, tactical, utility, or defense. Now the XP cost does increase each time you level up. So it is a grind, so you be ready for it to increase. Uh, it increases every level. Now, of course, if you want to fill out one column, uh, say for instance, you want to go into melee damage, you want to fill out the whole row when it comes to melee damage. It costs 31 points just to fill that one row out. Now, the way it works when it comes to spending coins in that one row, for the first one, it costs one coin. For the second one, it costs two. For the third one, it costs four. For the fourth one, it costs eight. And for the last one, that gives you the most stat increase, gives you 16. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how it goes, to be honest, when it comes to leveling up. Hopefully we can find, someone to go find a way to level up fast so we get to these fast. And the cap for it is 371. And the funny thing about it, y'all, you can fill every single bar in a section out to be fully OP. So for combat, utility, tactical and defense you can fill all that out on one character and be extremely op now you can do this with uh, multiple characters as well it isn't just limited to one character that you could have fully leveled out with the champion system but honestly if you could fully level out the champion system for all your characters all power to you <laughs> i just that's that's a whole another level of you know just grind that i don't know if people are going to be able to finish it but no, i'm lying some people are going to be able to do it i'm i'm not sitting up here like somebody's not going to do it but it's insane that it's, I, I just had to give all props to somebody that's going to fully do it now of course i'm gonna finish it out for hawk i'm gonna get the full thing maxed out for hawk but for other characters i don't know i don't know it's, it's that's gonna be some grind right there now another thing about the champion system is the fact that you're going to have one of the um you know skill was active as one, uh, at one time so say for instance uh to give you like a good example uh for thor say for instance you know for god blast you can have uh, you could pick an option of having three or you could pick an option for have it where it can apply the, the whirlwind and cryo damage it's something like that so say for instance there is a one that increases your melee damage by five percent and there's one of them that increases by 25 percent you could pick each either one that you want active you know nine out of ten you should pick the one that gives you 25 percent and it just goes on from there because uh, say for instance in combat there's another section that increases your range damage you can pick the last one in the range damage and you can have those two active as once you can only pick one so hopefully i explained that well enough for you guys so you can know uh, how this really works so, and honestly with the champion system hopefully uh when it's finally in the game we can see how it works hopefully it is something fun and so we can actually just feel e get even more op with our characters in the game because i know <laughs> i know thor and hulk are going to benefit from this a lot it's go it's, it's gonna make a build so different which is so cool so it's gonna be a whole brand new deal when it comes to bills now so nine times out of ten i'm gonna have to recreate all my bills now since they you know, implemented this champion system so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how it goes so we better get into the consumable part so a lot of people were wondering what this consumable was. People were worried that it's gonna be pay to win. It's gonna be this and that. But I can finally, I'm so glad they stated this in the meeting. So this consumable, it gives you a 50% XP boost. It's going to be free. I kid you not, I'm not lying. It's going to be free. It's not gonna cost no money at all. And I am so glad that they're doing this because honestly, y'all, if they would have had a setup where you have to pay for it, whoo, it's cool. It would have been bad. I'm being so honest. I'm so honest. It would have been bad, bro. It really would have been bad. Now, for this Hero Catalyst, which is what it's called, um, if you activate it, uh, if you go offline, for example, if you have to go somewhere or something unfortunately, unfortunately comes up, uh, the timer will still run. So I would say activate it um, when you're not busy or when you know you're going to be in the game for that certain amount of time while it's active. So make sure you pop it you, uh, while 
surprisingly when it comes to it and it also is the count link so basically if you're already level 50 on a hulk and you go to another character that you want to get to level 50 the xp boost will still carry on so you still will have that 50 percent xp boost so that's pretty dope i like that one and they also stated that um this will be earnable and they will they're trying to find a way for it to be earnable in game so nine times out of ten i think it's going to be implemented when the uh when the patrol mode is uh, activated, since we already know that patrol, they are looking into ways to um, make what patrol mode you can earn qu credits. So hopefully something like that is in patrol mode. Now I think if I remember correctly, it's gonna be like a weekly free thing for everyone. So it's gonna be like a weekly thing. So hopefully, uh, you know, we're gonna see how it goes when it comes to it, to be honest with the hero catalyst. But at the end of the day, I'm just glad that it's not, you don't have to pay for it. That's what I'm just most excited for. So yeah, that is basically everything, to be honest, when it comes to the champion system, the hero catalyst, the red room takeover information, and also to add on to it, when it comes to the, uh, the roadmap update, um, they have um, the, the Cosmic Cube is be coming out in June, which is basically next month, which I'm happy that they're doing like a month to month thing when it comes to it. So if they stick to it, we might get, we at the, you know, at the, uh, the Cosmic Cube, we're going to get Patrol Mode, then after Patrol Mode, we got Black Panther, then you, you know it's going to be month after month. Hopefully they do it. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm saying, I'm not saying it, but they have been on it month to month they've been on it monthly so we gotta see what it is and also they did um state to us that they are increasing and they are improving the drops when it comes to gear when it comes to quality wise so they're focused on they're focusing more on making the gear that is less valuable drop for players and making more of the more valuable gear to drop for us because as you guys know say for instance you want like a damage buff and if you guys know how hard it is to get a damage buff you have to just run any type of mission just to get lucky and just get a damage buff to drop for you and you would just get like useless perks and just useless gear overall that would just drop for you and and they stated that with the 1.7 patch which the red room takeover will be coming in and also um the champion system which will be coming on tuesday if i remember correctly uh, this will be implemented into that patch, so I'm just glad overall they're increasing the um, the quality drops when it comes to gear wise. But um, yeah, that is everything when it comes to information wise that was discussed. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as I stated, I will have um, I will be discussing this live on Twitch just to go into more detail about it. Just if some people were confused, so if you guys want to come to that, out to that, my Twitch is below. But um, yes, yeah, June here, guys. I really guys new today's video. But before we head out, if if you guys are not, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on post notifications and then miss a video and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, also, I do stream on Twitch. I will be streaming today uh, when all this information does release. Basically, going over it, just basically, basically explaining it even more. So, if you guys want to come out to the Twitch, the link is below as well. And also, I um, do have a Discord. It's called the June Cave. We go over everything dealing with Mars Avengers. Got the Knights, Outriders, just games in general. And we also do watch parties. So, if you guys want to join that, the link is below for that one as well. I also do have memberships on the channel. So, I'm, if you guys want more information about that, the link is below. But I'm going to give a quick shout out to the Elite members and the Brickham members. I greatly, greatly appreciate it for y'all being memberships on the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But, um, yeah, so June here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, come subscribe, and have a good day. Peace.